All right. Hello, Shika. Hi, Rosie. I am excited for today. Yes, um, so this is our first The Enough Excellent. Show show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. And um, it's funny how, so today we're going to talk about how we're going to be doing this. We're doing a three day kind of a startup pack to just kind of get the foundation. And um, then we're going to continue because this is a really big topic and a topic that too many people suffer from, as we've been seeing in kind of the work that we've been doing in our life. Right, right. So you want to start? Do you want to say something? And then I'll take the lead. Yeah, I mean, you can. So today's topic is um, really we're just kind of defining on what what are we talking about when we say being enough? Okay, so let me take it from here then. You take it. Uh, you take yeah. it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done a lot of interviews, so let me just pull it off. Yeah. Together to, um, so let me just start by a question. And if we have audience coming in and they could just take a paper and pen and um, just first start listing out uh, places where they were shrinking in life and they felt, uh, I know I can, but I don't think so I can. Has anybody gone through that feeling? Rosie, does anything in your life, any particular example that comes up which says, I know I can, but I don't think so I can, if you understand what I'm saying. Because it's yeah. all happening, uh, whether it's our looks, whether it's our uh, you know, showing up, whether it's whatever. We always think, I know I can, but I don't think so I can. So that's the two things that are constantly happening. And we tend to believe the second one more. I don't think so I can, or I should not, or... So any incidents that comes to you in your life and then I'll- Oh my God. Wait, we, we need more than 20 minutes then for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's kind yeah. of, I mean, that's it's kind of why I'm here. <laughs> it's because, because that's been my story. Because even as I, as I look back over my life, uh, whenever I was afraid to do something that I wanted to do, was always because I didn't think I would be good enough at it or- you know, what would people say if I wasn't good enough? Like all those that talk about it. So yeah. that I, I just, when I look back, I can see all the points at which I stopped from an inspired, you know, idea because, ah, uh, you know, let me, let me go get more certifications. Let me go study a little more. Let me go make it perfect. You know, that's how like it would show up. Right. Yeah. And I, I just want to it can make it very simple because they're going to be replays and we're going to be doing a lot of reels and stuff out of it. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk, uh, even come down to the level of everyday basic, even youngsters, we found ourselves doing it. Um, let's take such a basic thing, even in those places, this not enoughness hides, like wearing something, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as simple as wearing something, uh, you're doubting yourself. If I wear, if I look nice, will I not, uh, should I wear it? I, yeah, my wow, that's yeah. super powerful. Yeah, yeah. My my identity is this, and if I do this, uh, I want to, but I should not, and I should not do it because I just think uh, I don't feel enough sexy, enough amazing, enough whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of conversations going on in the head. <laughs> yes, yes, and. And uh, just in wearing, there is so much confusion. Uh, and no matter, even if out, sometimes you wear something different. And, you know, in my workshop, we do the rabbit and the duck. So sometimes you are a rabbit, but you're trying to do like a duck. I just don't want to be arbit here. But you're just wearing something which you generally don't wear. And then you just step into that. And then the whole world is saying, wow, it looks nice. And, and you just don't believe anybody because they're just, there's so much questions of saying. So... Am I enough to dress up? Like, am I feeling worthy of wearing? Am I feeling worthy of the compliments? If somebody compliments you, yeah, you smile with a half smile and say, "I know you're just saying it because you just love me," and just saying it because I tried that's, something. Um, that's a yeah. very that, that's a very uh, interesting concept. I when with the thank you when people give you a compliment, yep. um, for for many years I would be like, oh, you know this old thing or 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 some kind of excuse if not to like say oh thank you so much for 
you yeah. know, graciously just thanking them for the compliment, but to argue about it really. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think that that's like, that was a huge like shift to me where I made the conscious decision that when someone gives me a compliment, I'm going to be so like, well, thank you so much. Or even a gift or, you know, never to say like, no, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. But no, thank you so much for yeah. thinking of me. I love it so much. And, and thank yeah. you so much. So like, that being able that's a big shift that people can do that you can do and just practice and keep on practicing yeah. And, yeah, and just notice your brains wanting to yeah. not take it but allowing yourself to receive is really part of the whole you know idea of being enough yeah, it's very tough to believe uh like okay this this is what i'm getting gifted and then you stand there and like why are they gifting this to me? What is the interior motive? Like if somebody just could just think that you're so worthy and you're so amazing that they want to do something for you. Mm. And, and then you just keep doubting it. And you're like, how is it possible? How, uh, why would they do that? I don't think I've done something great in my life to be have to receive that. Uh, and, and the yes, 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 the way we both are touch wood working, I also say touch wood because the way we are working with yes, 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 because yes, you know, uh, yes, 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 enough, yes, it's so, it's whatever so I've fun. Done, yes, <laughs> whatever I've done is enough for me to collaborate with beautiful Rosie, and probably you feel the same. And whatever you've done, this collaboration is absolutely a yes. And well, um, you know, so for, for just to talk about that for a minute and that example of the different way that, like, if, well, I'll speak for me, the different way that I'm working with you, yeah, is just from that place of yes. Is that yeah. is from that place of of enoughness of like yes this is going to be perfect enough this is going to be amazing enough I have enough to bring you know you have enough to bring just the whole idea that all of it's enough and all of it's perfect and it's a yes yeah. and um, it's just been it's like it's there's no uh, uh, resistance to it there's no effort to it at all it's just like boom boom just like the allowing it to come so but it all started from my like i'll say for me my first decision to say to receive that thank you and to receive gifts and so right. this is a gift that i'm receiving and, and acting on so yeah it is it is it is a gift for me as well because when you say yes and when you say uh yes we're ready to do this together and start seeing um, you know, things that I don't have and you have and you don't have and I have and just as something that is complete and not uh, incomplete way of receiving and right. with feeling at the, I don't have that with you. So I feel very blessed. And that's why the yeses are very strong. The yeses moving forward with this enough project is very strong because I finally feel I'm enough to be with somebody who can walk and believe right in into this project. And that's my side of the story. And I feel yeah, I don't need to do it more or I don't need to add more and do anything more right. than I've already done. And this is yeah. enough, enough what I've done. I, I, think I think that's actually absolutely it. It's, yeah. um, I don't have to say, oh, is this perfect enough for me to share with her? Or is this idea silly? Yeah. Or is she going to think this? Yeah. I never have those thoughts of like, it's just like, here's an idea. Does it sound like does yeah. it flow? Okay, yeah, it's a yes. It's bad. Everything's pretty much better. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. it's because it's because we've set it up for that. And yeah. and it hasn't just come without lots of other things in the past of being like messy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And we can keep pulling out examples as you said about and that's why I want to just keep taking examples of very mundane uh, day-to-day life stuff. Uh, even if somebody like, you know, in our younger age, and I want younger people to start listening to this conversation of enough. That's why I always bring them in, even in our teens or, you know, when we like somebody uh, and uh, we end up being with them, you should just have so much doubt at that time. I just thought in my mind that this person is the person I need to be with. And I am with that person and the person is walking towards me saying, will you be in my life? And then you're just like, really? Like, Am I, am I good enough for this person? And then the doubts and everything. Right. So in different places from clothes to the person we are choosing. And even your children, if they turn out to be something absolutely special. And then you're like, am I a great mother? Like, like is it enough to be the mother I was for them to be absolutely amazing to be able to say this on stage about yeah. us? Or 
people about us. Yeah, uh, I mean that that's a that's a really great point too because I I, I often say and and you're just pointing that out to me right now is that um, I, I kind of just say from the grace of God that my kids are amazing humans like giving their gift to the world but um you know and last night i was talking to my boyfriend he's like yeah your kids are pretty intense and i'm like i wonder where they get that from he goes really <laughs> 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 and <laughs> i was like oh yeah that's true but i never really uh, so again it's oh it always keeps popping up this idea right if that yeah. well that's yeah. so good it can't be like i couldn't have had anything to do with it Exactly. But uh, yes, it's always, you know, it's always, you know. Yeah, and God, that's why we yeah. Awesome. yeah, that's why we're standing here for um, bringing this topic so that we can discuss about enough is enough mm. and uh, take more actions and um, trust your actions and just like jump into the adventure of knowing what's going to open up on the other side by yeah. feeling complete um, because we in in this whole world of the universe of like i don't think so we can know everything anyway so we'll always feel shorter and lesser than and we can't be everything we want to be also we can be parts of stuff but this so vast our imagination can go to at least start stepping into whatever is in front and by saying i'm enough yeah i can let you, this is enough whatever i have is enough let me just yeah keep collecting so yeah, so so as you're watching this, start to just think about like the parts of your life where, where that that question of that questioning of yourself uh, has stopped you from something that you really you know wanted or and and it doesn't that was then and now is now and so you can switch it in an instant and just yeah. start to practice. Yeah. Uh, I think that's kind of what we're saying to you is that it, like you can change that in a moment. Like it's those are like old past kind of thoughts low level thoughts that aren't real that aren't true so the truth is you know the truth is what you're going to be discovering and uncovering as you kind of you know question yourself about yeah. is that really true what i'm saying and thinking right and you, you know again not being enough is also a comparison piece that i always say you feel not enough because you're always comparing to somebody you feel is has enough or does enough or bees enough or whatever. And that whole comparison makes you feel I don't have enough as much as knowledge or as much as charisma or as much as whatever, you know. And then the comparison piece makes us stop back and say, okay, let me collect and become till there. And yeah. the minute you reach till there in your book, somebody else shows up who is few steps ahead and then you're like okay let me just come and go to their steps and then maybe i'll be enough to show up yeah and similarly, money uh, when i will have enough i will launch my new program and when i will have enough uh, yeah um, and we never do it because we're just always waiting for that moment which <laughs> you know we're, we're just twisting around these thoughts yeah, yeah. Wow. It's for time as well. In time, we do that. When we have enough time, we will start taking care of ourselves. When we have time, I will do something mm. better than uh, for self-care and whatever. Then That's I have right. time. I'll go to the pedicure place. Or if I have time, mm. I'll call my dad. These are my, my thoughts. That's on, that's on to right. Time or, or money, right? Or, oh, when I get when I get enough money, then I can do that. Or when I complete, I, I find a lot of women too are like, well, I need to take one more certification. I, I don't have enough like credentials to be able to, to teach right. that or share that with someone. Um, so someone else is, you know, doing it differently or better or right. something like that. Right. Yeah, and so what's we, coming to me, yeah, is also, when my children are grown up enough because I'm with very young children. I'm like, when they're grown uh, up enough, then I will. No, I, I, I've still launched no, the plot. So that's funny, them. right? Because there's the oh, I'm not, I'm not old enough. I'm not, you know, mature enough or whatever. Or I'm yeah. too, I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> I'm not young yeah. enough. So it's like no matter what place you are, you're, you're putting yourself in the position of like, you're not good enough for that place, but. I guess it, it's just such a gift to when you know that you are in the perfect place and yeah, know. you know, to act on that inspired, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that inspiration. Yeah. So Absolutely. good. So Absolutely. good. Yeah. And uh, uh, 
just just i think we just have to keep reminding ourselves that this is like enough has also happened if we like enough is enough mm-hmm. that we are saying too much enough and we are giving permission for others also sometimes yes we are very self critical we are but we've granted permission to others also to tell us around us that it's not good enough you're not ready enough you're not yeah. this enough and 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 uh, sometimes we believe ourselves that, like we're enough but then we start believing the other that we are not enough and then they're like yeah. no maybe the logic sets and if there are five point logic coming in front of you why you should not do what you should do not to and then you're like yeah makes sense it's a it's a risk but life is a risk every day is a risk every step is a risk just take it and it like show up in um full stride of enoughness and we'll see what happens yeah gently gently good happens yeah if, So we are going to be doing this is just kind of a little introduction to us and what we're talking about. We're going to be doing two more um shows on Wednesday and Thursday and we're going to be talking about why do we not feel enough. Yeah. And then we're going to be talking about um self-portraits and what that really means and the shifts that that the the, the amazing shifts that happen. when you enter into that realm which is yeah. like can we talk about that <laughs> i like to try to call it a realm it's just another realm <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um and then we're going to have a weekly show so yeah. you know the uh the like when we what this kind of well we'll talk about how this all came about also you know um in one of the shows but i was just today even um and i didn't even share this with you yet but i was fooling around on my google drive and i came up with this blog post i had written and i was like what the hell did i write this but it was all about you know enough already <laughs> so anyway wow. so there's there we're not here by accident like this was you know and i was thinking about this this morning i'm like wow like i never really knew how to deliver this message like i always wanted to deliver this message it was so strong in me and i i just couldn't figure out how to again i'm trying to figure shit out um and then all of a sudden one day it was just boom right it's like okay here it is and here's the path and it's just unfolding and it's just yeah. there's no effort at all in it and, and so it's a beautiful thing <laughs> so speaking to the heart the emotions the stuff that we are doing i don't want to reveal it but uh, when we hear other women joining us on this uh, with us and the more we are talking and uh, you know i i mean i sometimes if my son also asks me me really why are you like yeah you're enough just do it like you know um, mm. like I, so we somewhere uh, it's just become like uh, you know and and again i'm always talking about youngsters because my i think ultimate ultimate uh uh i don't want to say the word worry but uh it is a worry <laughs> it's not a worry but <laughs> uh, that uh the generation next is going to step into unworthiness or disconnected with who the they really are and and uh you know i i find when the boys are playing uh i have a 12 year old then constantly somebody else telling you oh you don't play football you're like not worthy to even ah, take it yeah it's already starting you could see yeah. it starting it, it's it's starting oh you don't play sports uh so i have given a language because my son doesn't play sports but he w- wants to just play because everybody's telling him but then he stands up and say but i'm good at public speaking i'm i'm good at create like he is a public speaker and he can come oh that's speak. excellent oh i love yeah. it so I love you know to our children that it's okay you don't have to be an all rounder you don't have to be a sports or this so much or pressure this. so much pressure with that right and, and um, i'm just going to wrap up here 20 minutes but uh, a lesson also for if parents and moms because i talked to moms joining in saying my son told me he was dancing one day and so me and my husband just told him that why don't you just do some classes and you'll get better at this and he just looked at me and he said it's just a hobby ma it's just meant to be a hobby nothing more than that and i felt that is like something we need to it's just that just don't try to make it something else by saying it's not enough the way you're doing well it. and and you know but that kind of uh, really re- reflects to us too it's that 
we always have like another mm -hmm. outcome to like, oh, is this going to be this? Or am I going to make money from this? Am I going to be successful from this? Or am I going to, versus just like, let me just dance. <laughs> let me just, I don't have to, like at the moment, I'm just dancing. At the moment, you know, we're just creating, like we're creating yeah. something and we just keep creating. And you celebrating. Know, Right, exactly. <laughs> Create and celebrate. Yeah. Okay. We could go in a million different topics, but uh, yes, yes. for today, we hope that we um, kind of give you a little um, thought about what is this like enough for you? Like, where has it been stopping you in your tracks? And just to, even the smallest of ways of not accepting, you know, a gift or a thank you. And so, practice that's a great you know, homework, <laughs> if you wanted homework, is just to yeah. notice what you do when someone gives you a compliment. And can you say, thank you so much? Exactly, yeah. I just, I'm like that, yeah. Just the way you described, I'm just like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, Ms. Chica. So we will see you all Wednesday, um, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6.30 IST time, PM. And we will see you in two days. All yep. right. Ciao All right. for now. Okay. See you, see you soon. Bye.